Okay, so this next video is going to be three books in one. Um, they were by Andy Briggs. All three are by Andy Briggs. They come as a set. And this is what I think of them. So, first we have Hearts, Flowers and Butterflies. Second, we have Mandela's. Third, we have Spiders. I'm absolutely petrified of spiders, so why I got this book, I don't know. But still. Um, they're very... They're, they're quite thin, but, you know, they're not bad for the price. Um, for what you pay. I think it was £17 for three. I have to say, as much as what I will colour them, I am a bit disappointed with how the pictures are inside. It's very peculiar. Because you seem to have the picture on the black page. And then, if you can see, look at that one. Exactly the same picture is on the white pages. Now, I don't know if... What I thought was, I wonder if you colour the black picture in, or the white one, whichever, if it actually transfers itself through. Because if, on the black one, the lines and marks are very clear. And on the white ones, not so much. So I'm wondering <laughs> if the colour transfers through. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But like I said, it's, it disappointed me that it's like that because I don't understand the book. Why, why have exactly the same picture on two pages? But the pictures that they do have, I like. So... I'm assuming you can use any pen. I haven't tried it yet, but I would assume any pen or even marker for the fact that there's only one every two pages, really. So, I mean, like I said, it's, it's fine for the price. And all three books are the same as this. All three books are styled exactly the same. There you go. All different sorts of spiders, some very creepy ones and some not so creepy ones. I think I'd like it more if you just had the white pages. So you could actually put some black on your spiders, where on the black pages you couldn't really do that. Because it will look odd. So there's your spiders one. And then a quick look through the other two. The Mandela's one, which I think it, Mandela's are good really, no matter what sort of book they are. And it, but it's exactly the same. Some on the white page on the white page and the black page with exactly the same pictures. But there is some beautiful Mandela's you can use any colour. Neon colours I think would look nice in this. For it to stand out on the black pages. Neon colours would look lovely. Some obviously a bit too easy. And yet it says it's complicated. All three are a set of complicated colourings. But some of these don't particularly look very complicated. But, you know, any mandala you can do. That one looks quite nice. through that one and last book is hearts flowers and butterflies see the front pages of these are what attracted me to it because on amazon if you go on amazon you can't look through any of the pages of these so you've sort of not really got any idea what you're getting but these actually i don't mind being on black paper because I mean, you just wouldn't do black in the pictures where the spiders won. Well, spiders are black, so it's not going to be an easy one to do. But these aren't too bad. I just want to figure out why you get exactly the same picture on two pages. If anybody already knows before I start these pictures, you want to comment below, you're welcome to. So as I know, before I start... 
but there is some beautiful pictures in them there's some pretty patterns in them so i am pleased that i got it and there we have that book so there you are there's the three um complicated colorings anti-stress coloring books by anthony briggs uh i would go out and buy whoever you are just for the fact that they're not expensive books and that but i think i got mine off amazon like i said i think if you go anywhere else and they're any more than that i don't think i would bother there's lots of other books i think that are a bit better than these unfortunately but it is only my opinion you can make your own which is why i show the pictures thank you for watching <laughs>